Hello everyone, it's your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video. In this video, I'm going to be talking more about Water Wizard. I have some more, like, theories that I want to break down, but instead of just going over one theory like I did in the last Water Wizard theories video, I've decided that I'm going to go over a bunch of theories that I have about the Water Wizard universe. I essentially am going to present you guys with a series of questions about, like, the Water, the water Wizard lore. And then I'm going to try and answer those questions to the best of my ability based on the story so far. But I would love to hear your theories and your questions in the comment section below. I'd love to make more theory videos like this based on your questions and your thoughts on the world so far. And the questions that you want to see answered in this story. But without further ado, let's hop right in and let's start trying to like theory craft and find answers to these many mysteries. Uh, so the first question I have written is, why is there no fire elemental rune? So um, we know that there are three elemental runes. There's a water elemental rune, an earth elemental rune, and an air elemental rune. But there's no fire elemental rune. The most basic spell in the world uh, that we know of so far in the story is the fireball spell. So it's likely that a fire rune was never created because there wasn't really a need for one to exist. When you think about it, the elemental runes just make it easier to cast elemental spells. So runes likely don't have to be made for elemental magic that is already easy to cast. This may imply that water, earth, and air magic are the three hardest elements to cast with. Let's see. The next question, why is Jet the only person who still possesses the water elemental rune? Um, so... All of Jet's equipment appears to be ancient, and Jet is referred to as being quite old, so I personally don't think it would be too surprising if Jet is revealed to be so old that he has been around since before the Great Cataclysm. The only question then would be, how has he managed to live this long? Um, to which then I have a theory for that as well. So there are a lot of indicators that point to Jet being way older than he has any business being. He is an orc, so maybe his non-human heritage gives him an incredibly long lifespan. He's also a wizard, so maybe he cast a spell before he lost his memory that extended his lifespan. I mean, you also can take into account that um, there are gods who control life and death in this world. So maybe he has some kind of divine purpose, or for whatever reason, Dorna and Lolth, the gods of life and death respectively, just don't want him to die. You know, there are a lot of different ways that we could try and justify it. So, but speaking of Jet's memories, what happened to Jet's memories? Um, it isn't entirely clear why Jet can't really remember anything about his past. There are many ways for a person to suffer from amnesia. Uh, in a world where magic exists, there are even more possibilities for how he could have lost his memory. While we don't really have enough to go off of to know for sure, it is stated that Jet is fairly old, we just don't know how old he is, so it might just be the fact that he's losing his memory due to old age. Um, now, we've been focusing a lot on Jet, but what about Father Thomas? How powerful is Father Thomas? Father Thomas is capable of reading the Book of Elements, a book that is notoriously difficult to read and contains information on every creature and element that will ever exist and has ever existed. This implies that Father Thomas likely knows significantly more about the world than most people, and explains why Father Thomas seems to know so much about the gods and the Great Cataclysm. Father Thomas was able to summon a god on a whim implying that his knowledge of creatures may even give him certain power over the divine. Father Thomas lost the Book of Elements somewhere in the time stream, which implies that he may be capable of traveling through time. Father Thomas has also disappeared and reappeared magically before, which may indicate that he can teleport through space, not just move through time. Father Thomas studies elemental magic, but he has yet to display what he's capable of doing with his elemental magic. Uh, with the knowledge that he's obtained from the Book of Elements, it is possible that with enough training, he could become the most powerful elemental magician in the world. But if you think he sounds powerful, imagine how strong his mentor, Father Gabriel, must be. Which, we've only really heard of Father Gabriel, we haven't encountered him in the story yet. 
But if Father Thomas is only like a fraction as powerful as Father Gabriel, Father Gabriel sounds like he'd probably be a beast, but we'll just have to see. So another question that I have is why is it that the water elemental rune still has power, but the air and earth elements do not? I don't really have an answer to that. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I don't even understand why the elemental runes lost their power after the Great Cataclysm. The Great Cataclysm doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the runes. Excuse me. So, like, a bigger overall question would be, like, what is the relationship between the elemental runes and the Great Cataclysm to begin with? You know what I mean? If the Great Cataclysm is just about the four gods fighting, Tiamat, Dorna, Lolth, and Yogg, then how, what, what, what does that have to do with the elemental runes, like, at all? Also, who created the elemental runes and why? You know, we don't know where the elemental runes come from. Maybe Yogg created them? But if Yogg created the elemental runes, then that doesn't really explain why the elemental runes would have lost their power. And if Yogg naturally has the ability to control elements, why would he need the elemental runes? Did he make them for mankind? He seemed pretty gung-ho about training Jet, so maybe he's totally fine with sharing his magic with the world. Maybe he created the elemental runes to do that. I mean, we really don't know. There are, there are a lot of like unanswered questions. Um, but I'm hyped to, like, learn more about, like, all these things, and I'm hyped to see your theories in the comment section below. Let me know. What are you guys' thoughts on the series so far? What would you guys like to see for the future of the series? What unanswered questions do you want to see answered in future episodes? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, ding, ding. Ring the notification bell to be notified whenever we do these videos. Make sure you check out my video, These Superheroes Do Not Exist. Um, it's about a project that I'm working on with John Mason, and I should be making a new video about it very soon. Thank you all once again for tuning in. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black One Only. Log it out. Peace, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Shake it again.